back to a brand new video of the Target Image of Program, Target Image Experience. So the uh, NY Predator Department, along with the uh, ambulance, uh, I should say, what should I call them? And the fecal, <laughs> the, the fecal department of New York engaged in a noise campaign as soon as I came outside. Because of course they know I'm going to um, record as soon as I stepped out of the building. They uh, stopped the sirens. So, okay, so now they're going to be using the white guy. So you guys see from last week who it was. This week, keep a, keep an eye out. Okay, we're going to be white guys this week. All right. So this is what they are engaging in. They're trying to be slick now after I already exposed them. And they were pretty upset earlier because I've been posting a lot of stuff about these cops who are, you know, like how they like to do false narrative, narrative about us TIs. Well, like I said, I just speak the truth. So I was posting articles on these predator officers, you know, having sexual relationship with teenagers, right? <laughs> and uh, like I said, the dog tries, they know exactly where to go, which kind of job to, to apply for usually in positions of power, usually law enforcement, uh, uh, government offices, right? So they can go in and make policies and to protect their criminal behavior and their criminal act, right? <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, Pam came home and uh, you had the MI Predator Department against like, using the sirens. They do that from time to time. Like I called her. I called her. She didn't answer her phone. So I called her again because I was going to cook uh, mac and cheese to go with uh, baked uh, chicken. She didn't text me back. She didn't answer me back. Right? And... Uh, You know, so I called her and she was in the elevator. I was like, that's funny because, you know, usually she, um, you know, she would read the text, but she didn't read my text. So then I called her back again and she got, she, she, she got all mad. I'm like, hey, I said, first of all, you know, the reason I said to her, you know, I said, you know what, Pamela, read the text, read the damn text because she didn't want to look at the damn text. So now you got to come home and cook. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's to tell you, man. These these women, like, I try to help her out. She she want to get into her feelings, ignore her, ignore my my, my calls. So okay, you know, I, I was going to do you a solid. But now, you, now you, as much as you talk about how you tired, like, fecal department of New York. You know, as much as she was like, I'm so tired, I just want to go home and sleep. I was like, nope, I'm not playing that with you. You know, I said, because when you could be as tired as you want, Somebody call you to go out, you go out, you get up, you find the energy. Well, find the energy to step with your kids and make sure they go to bed on time. So she got mad. Stay real, mom. She, she hated it when I, when I speak the truth, she hated it. Tell me what I don't understand and you know, uh, she gotta have a social life. I, I said, yeah, I understand that, but take care of your house first. Take care of your children first. You know, you can have your social life. You know, she wanted to go to, she showed me another trip that she wants to go on. I'm like, you just want to go over to that place, right? She want to go to, uh, uh, where is it? Um, you know, anyway, some new place she's talking about she wants to go. You know? And I was like, I said to her, I said, every time she asked me about that, watching the kid as she go out to some vacation, I said, I said, you know, clean up your house first. I said, because, you know, being here triggers me. I took my time clean up the living room and the foyer and you come back you have not even unpacked your suitcase you're just living out the suitcase and make it more of a mess you know I thought I said clean up your house first anyhow plus you guys are like